Oh shit. <laughs> What'd you do? <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, it's been a while. We have been so busy. And it seems like as we check things off the list, it keeps growing and growing. Here's our van storage area right now. <laughs> <laughs> of all the what, things- What do we got in here? We need to do. So weather stripping, a table, a hitch, solar panels, a heater, battery, mirrors, electrical things, and honestly, who knows what else is in this pile. Funny enough, today what we're working on isn't even in this room. So we're just gonna close this door. Out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> and we'll show you what we're working on. Okay. Door panels. ones off as you see and we got tongue and groove cedar because it was on sale we were gonna get pine because it was cheaper but we went to get the pine and the cedar was on sale for the exact same price as the pine it was like $20 off a box so we're super excited and we got some and that's what we're doing today so we don't really know what we're doing with tongue and groove and everything we've never done that before uh, but a couple ideas that we have is we're hoping to have enough space here to do some sort of table on this eventually, like a little drop down table. And on this one, I want to build a little box that sticks out about here. So when you close it, it goes into this area and that's where we can put our shoes so that our shoes will like sit like this and then they'll be accessible. And then are we still, I think we're going to put a box here too. Yeah, be careful. Yes. Look how dangerous <laughs> this thing is. They literally just like cut a hole. It's yeah. where a fire extinguisher used to be. And then we just gotta cut around the door handle so we can still open it. And um, make some sort of pull so we can pull the door closed. Yeah. Oh, and tell them why we want what we want. Why I one the <laughs> Tell them one of the reasons we wanted to redo the door panels. The the swinging thing. Oh yeah, yeah. So previously on this door there was a handle that stuck out like really far like this so you could pull the door closed which makes sense but when we had the door closed we wouldn't be able to open or lift up our, uh, our countertop because that handle got in the way so we would have to open the door lift this up and then close the door again really awkward so this way we'll be able to have our doors closed. We can just flip this up if we need it. It'll be super convenient. Yeah, we're super excited about that. Yep, and we're gonna leave the front doors alone and we're also gonna do the back doors with uh, the cedar as well. So. Yep. And then I don't know what else we're gonna do after that. <laughs> so here we go. So what we'll do is we'll just cut one and we'll hold it up there. And the hardest part, I think it's gonna be keeping it level. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can use a level, <laughs> but the van's probably not level. No. Showing that sitting level. Dude, I hate level thing. <laughs> I've been framing the basement in this house and it's like, you know, plumb, level, square. It's so annoying. <laughs> Especially when there's stuff already there. If you're starting from scratch, it's pretty easy, but when you're trying to work with something else, doing all that stuff is so annoying. Uh, so yeah, let's just cut one. What'd okay. you say? 16 and something? 16 and eight. Does it smell like cedar? I don't know. It smells like something. It's, I don't know what cedar smells like. I just know it's supposed to smell. <laughs> it smells like, like a cabin. I feel like that's what cedar smells like. It kind of smells like a sauna to me. That's what I want it to smell like. Oh, well I think we're good then. <laughs> we got quarter inch because we wanted to, you know, save as much space in between the door and the cabinet and stuff like that. We'll see how it, how it works out. We gotta be careful with it. With our first piece. Ah! 
So I got these self-tapping screws. Since this is so thin, I'm gonna pre-drill it. I also got some uh, just like construction adhesive. And we'll probably just put a little bit on that, on the back of these, just to take some of the pressure off the screws, especially like going down dirt roads and stuff. Stuff is so thin, I feel like I'm doing arts and crafts. So this is the stuff that we uh, insulated our floors with. It's just like rattle trap sound insulation basically. Um, and we have some leftovers, so I'm just gonna stick some in the doors on the inside just to uh, take out some noise from the road and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> so after a little bit of a sketchy rip, uh, we got our tiny last piece. And I'm kind of afraid of it splitting, so we're gonna try our best to not split this. So we're gonna pre-drill it, kind of, and then glue the heck out of it, and it should be good. Ta-da! First one done. done. <laughs> the easiest one. <laughs> We got scared of the front door. <laughs> so we were like, let's go look at something else. <laughs> Distract ourselves from, from the inevitable. Do, yeah. It's like impossible to find those screws. It's so hard to find those screws. Basically what they do is they sink the screws in this carpet down here and you like literally can't, like there's one here I'm pretty sure. You like literally can't see them. Demo. Rip it off. For these doors, we're just gonna go straight across and we're not gonna do any holes or anything special, so it should be relatively easy. And then we will maybe put some cargo netting on them in the future so we can stuff things. do this one next and we're gonna kind of walk you through our process that we just came up with. The first one is really the hardest one. Yeah. Trying to get it straight and we really just eyeball it and check it with the tape measure. But yeah. Yep. It's not perfect. I let her do it. <laughs> so we pre-drilled these boards but what I'm gonna do is just mark the door with the drill through the hole. on both sides. So I just zip it a little bit to mark it and it left marks somewhere. I gotta find them. <laughs> and so now I just come back with the same drill and drill the hole out. All the way through. 
Katrina goes over there. It's part of the process. <laughs> Okay, so we drill that all the way through, and then just as another, you know, precaution, just because we don't want to split those boards, is I just take our uh, self-tapping screw, go through the hole until it taps it and starts to go in on both sides. And then Katrina comes back and then I grab the glue. And you can do the whole thing. Is it the right right side? Mm -hmm. So then I just put some whoops. Put some whoops on there. <laughs> I write some letters <laughs> some scribbles. Like that. It's secret code if anyone wants Secret code, yeah. Right. Decipher that in the comments. <laughs> and then. And then we peek through the holes. The first one's the toughest one. First one is tough. Katrina gets it lined up. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> What'd you do? I touched it with the glue. Oh, it's okay. But it's gonna get all over. Let me wipe, Will you it wipe it off. It off? It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is fine, see? Got it. Okay, thank you. Problem solved. Can you tell me if it's if if it from the yeah. side? This this first one's a little. I can't see through these holes at all like I could the other ones. Up, up, way up. Oh. Whoa. Like there? Yeah. Why haven't you impressed it down here? Oh, right on. Nice. Okay, we're gonna do the process again. <laughs> Watch very carefully. Well, yeah, you're gonna be tested on this later. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in case you ever do this to your door panels, if you look up like how to do wood planks in a van or whatever, it, they don't ever talk about the door panels, and that's like, you know, that's all we're doing. Yeah. So, <laughs> so we're making our own first. Yeah. Tutorial. So this is how you do it. <laughs> <laughs> we we practice on the baby door. Yeah, Split now we got it figured out. Good? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we mark it. My favorite part. See it go zip, zip, zip. Excuse me. <laughs> okay. Katrina goes away. Oof. <laughs> Find the mark. Drill it. Take a self tapper. Oh, you had done that. Tap out the hole. Take screw back. Tap the other hole. Take screw back. Katrina comes back. Bring it back now, y'all. <laughs> One half this time. One quart this time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Put the glue on there. Starting to get thick. Hieroglyphics. Yep, draw some pictures. Boom. She lines it up. This one's easy because it just lines These up. These are all way easier. Yeah. And the hole's are already ready. And the only reason we do that kind of long process just because this is quarter inch uh, wood. It's really thin and flimsy and soft and it splits really easy. And we have to put the screws on the edge, which makes it split even easier. And so we're just trying to avoid that. But. Look how nice that goes in. Yep, it just goes right in and the glue is in there. So easy. And then we just get both screws in. Yeah, because like, look, this board's even split just already. And it's not from the screw. Yeah. Like, but see that? That's just how it is. Yeah. I know, but that's why you don't want to be messing around. Yeah, and then we keep going. That's the process. That's the process.
For the day we got both of the back doors and the one side door done which is pretty good progress I that's think. really good and we're stoked about them we think they're awesome we literally love them like yeah. it feels like a new van honestly with these on there so yeah we couldn't be happier and so yeah our plan is to put some sort of like basic storage on the back of these like some netting or something and then we just need to tackle that other front door some other day which is not today not today so We'll come back at you sometime. We are back, and today's project is to tackle this beast. It's going to be our hardest one yet. Easy peasy. <laughs> good? That was good. Okay. Here is how it actually went. As you can see, we're not completely finished with the door panels. Uh, this big opening, we're gonna put a box in so we can put a plant in it or something, we'll see. And down below, we're also gonna build a little shoe box, like I told you earlier. And we still need to varnish the door panels and do a couple other things, put a door handle on this one. So they're not completely done, but we thought that this would be a good spot to end the video. And if you subscribe and keep watching, you'll see when we finish these, maybe in a van tour or something like that. <laughs> We really appreciate you guys sticking around and watching our videos and we've had a lot of fun making videos again. It's been, you know, a little bit of time, <laughs> but, but we're back. Yeah. And we don't know if we'll stay on a good schedule, but we're kind of back. <laughs> yeah. Probably not until we get on the road. We won't be on a schedule, but yeah. see ya. Bye.